In this video, we're going to talk about gauge pins. Now, gauge pins are really simple pieces. It's just a, a pin, as you can see here, and they are used to measure diameters with uh, uh, internal diameters with high precision. Uh, so you, you might have a, a hole diameter that you're trying to measure, and you know, especially for for small hole diameters, it, it can be difficult to get these. Uh, jaws of your calipers into a small hole diameter and then even if you do sometimes the measurements aren't perfect just because there, there is a width associated with these jaws and sometimes the width doesn't allow you to stretch the jaws all the way across the uh, the hole so you might miss you know five thousandths of an inch or, or something like that um, so in that case you you would use gauge pins uh, this is a gauge pin set. This set goes from uh, 11 and a half thousandths of an inch up to uh, a quarter and a tenth of an inch, so 0.2505. Uh, this, this particular set goes in increments of ten, uh, five tenths, five ten thousandths of an inch, uh, but you can, uh, uh, you can also get sets that, that are you know, at, at every thousandth of an inch. So this one goes from, for example, let me zoom in here, you know, point, uh, 1595 to 1605 to 1615, uh, but the other set, I guess kind of the corresponding set would be 1590 to 1600 to 1610. Um, uh, the, the set you get just kind of depends on your needs, or you might get both sets, but uh, they're, they're not cheap. Like this set right here was, I think, about $250, and uh, so anyway, you might have the the budget to get both sets or just one set but anyway there there are different sets that you can get uh, so let's take a look at how you would use a gauge pin uh, we've got a a part here with uh, some holes in it and these holes are supposed to be precision drilled to to press fit um, a plug in there and um, the let's see I can't remember uh, exactly what the the diameter of that plug is um, Okay, so here is the plug that is supposed to be press fit in there, and I'm gonna see, do my best here to just hold a mic in my hand. I don't have my convenient stand for the mic at the moment. So I'm gonna put this plug in and measure the diameter. So it measures at 0 0.2036. All right, so to press fit that, we would want a hole that's probably you know, 0 0.203, uh, certainly less than 0 0.2036, maybe 0 0.2034 down to 0 0.2028 or something like that, some uh, range in there. So 0 0.2036 is the, uh, the diameter of this, this plug. So if we go back to our part over here, um, we would we would need a hole that's less than 0 0.2036. So if we go to 0 0.2035, let's say, if uh, so, this is just a, a, a one ten thousandth of an inch, in theory, uh, s smaller than the uh, smaller than the plug. So if, if this fits in that hole easily, there's a good chance that that hole is too big and the plug will not press fit nicely in there. So we're going to put this pin in here and it just slides right in. There's a little bit of gap in there, not a lot, but it, it slides in pretty easily. And if this hole was 0 0.2036 exactly, um, I would expect there to be a little bit more resistance getting this, this pin in than there is. So I'm, I'm guessing this is uh, bigger than 0 0.2035. Let's take 0 0.2045 and see if that one fits. And if this one fits, then that hole is definitely too big. It's way too big by a, at least a thousandth of an inch. A thousandth of an inch might not sound like a lot, but when you're press fitting something, that's, that's the Grand Canyon. So let's put this in, see if it fits. It does not immediately go in, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, this one, it, it won't, it, it kind of starts going in a little bit, but doesn't quite get there. Um, just make sure there's no like, oh, here we go. There may have been a little bit of debris on the other end, but putting this one in, the pin, it actually does go in. Just, I mean, it is a snug fit in there. There's basically no play, but this is a 2045 pin, 
and it fits in a hole that's supposed to be uh, smaller than 0 0.2036. And on, on this middle hole, it actually goes in a little bit easier even, a little bit. You can kind of hear that, that pop when I pull it out, indicating that it's, it's almost an airtight seal because there's almost zero gap around there. So we have a 2045 pin that fits in a hole that's supposed to be less than 0 0.2036, which tells us that this almost certainly will not be a, well, it certainly will not be a press fit. It's, uh, it is machined out of spec. So sure enough, if we try and put this, this part in there, this plug, yeah, it just kind of slides in and I can probably shake it out. Yeah, it's fallen most of the way out. So that's not good because it's supposed to be a press fit, but that is uh, an excellent opportunity for us to learn how to use, how to use gauge pins. And, and that's how. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.